Hello and welcome to the Independent Broadcast Network. It's Winners with One, and we are bringing you live action in the Hockey World Cup. The playoffs have started. And it looks like I'm going to be here alone today. Killinger is a little under the weather, so this is going to be a solo cast. But I want to thank everybody for joining us today. So we're getting everything ready for this. Today it will be Ukraine versus the Commonwealth of Independent States in a best of three. The winner will advance to the finals of the Hockey World Cup, the first ever Hockey World Cup. And so it's a very exciting thing. We're happy to have you join us. And let me shrink everything down a little bit here. Okay, I think we're good to go. All right. I love it when a plan comes together. I wanted to make sure because we did a cast... Uh, a few days ago and the screen was completely dark for a lot of it so yeah, kind of makes you double check your settings to ensure that that does not happen again anyway there are four teams left in the hockey world cup the other two being england and the favorites russia now that game has been postponed so it will not be happening today i'm not sure uh, when that will be actually happening, but very soon, I suspect, as England on the last game of the round robin was able to knock Canada out of the playoffs. Therefore, none of the North American teams made it in, although they fought hard. So uh, Canada came pretty close. Maybe they'll get in next time. But in the meantime, the teams left standing are very strong. And so these two teams are certainly packed with good players. And this is sort of a battle of IPHL versus NGHL in a way. A lot of these guys uh, play on those leagues. But more importantly, it's about Ukraine versus the Commonwealth of Independent States. And I would hate to pick a favorite in this. Uh, both these teams have great scorers. They, they play well in the net. They have great awareness around the rink. They, they make good passes. It's going to be a lot of fun. So glad you're here with us here on IBN. And lots of stuff happening pretty soon on the Independent Broadcast Network. Don't forget next weekend, it's the big Super Bowl tournament. And that's going to be two days worth of action. I'm going to make sure to be there for both days of that, as that's going to go Saturday and Sunday. It's the first ever Super Bowl tournament which a lot of people are picking up on that game. And we'll talk more about that soon. But also we are covering insurgency for the Team Warfare League as well as ESL. We're going to be doing ESL insurgency too, it looks like. And some other games for Team Warfare coming up as well. So a lot is happening here on the Independent Broadcast Network. We're getting the band back together, man. We've got a lot of our... Uh, our classic casters coming in. We got some new casters coming in. So big things are going here at IBN. And but of course hockey, we have covered it a lot. We are big fans of this game. It is a free to play game. It's made by Cryptic C, and you can get it at hockeyquestionmark.com. It has a great community. It's a worldwide community, as you can see here, and it's uh, really grown a lot, especially in the past year or so. Now these guys have been playing quite a while. So these. Uh, the people that you see playing today, they are very good at the game. And so we're expecting some very good games in this best of three. And now they will set their lineups. It looks like they are uh, figuring out who's going to be the starting four for each team. It will be 4v4. So thanks for joining us, folks. This is going to be good. And <laughs> you'll just have to bear with me. Hopefully the... Uh, the stream looks okay. I've uh, put it down to 480 for our uh, overseas viewers because some people have a hard time with Twitch. But it is in uh, full 720, so if you're watching this on YouTube later, hopefully uh, if I've said everything correctly, it'll look okay. But it looks pretty good from here. And hopefully it looks good to you as well. So now we'll see who these guys send out for their uh, first game of this best of three. And the winner of this will go on to face the winner of England versus Russia. Now, if I had to uh, bet money on that one, I mean, Russia is 
probably the strongest team on the lineup, but England surprising a lot of people with how good they have been in international place. So who knows? You can't tell until you play the games, and we are about to play this game right now, it looks like. And your lineups for Ukraine are going to be Ricky, Dennis, Okaj, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, man, and Mirror Boy, and they will be in red. For CIS, it's going to be Fertile, Aziz, Alexander, and Lily Pato. Those are some solid, solid players on both of these teams, as I said before. So here we go with the opening draw, and loose with it will be Ukraine, and they're going to go ahead and send one towards the net here. Fertile picks it up. It's got a little bit of room to move with it, and he's going to be looking for the pass down low. Lily Pato's open, and he's going to escape past the net, but trying to come back in with it, knocked away from him before he can line up the shot. So now back at center ice, the pass coming, and we're going to see a lot of back-and-forth action between these two teams, I have no doubt, as they are known for it. And so Aziz is going to come out and play this, but he's going to be skating around. They were going to try to catch him out of position. They're not able to as CIS circling the wagons on defense and able to stop that. And now they will start to move it themselves as this one's going to be dumped in behind the boards. Chased down by Ricky and Fertile there. It's going to be dislodged. And back at the point, and that gives Ukraine. You'll, you'll see how they switch it to the other side quite a bit, and there'll always be somebody waiting for it. Good positioning is a, a hallmark of international play and something that definitely North America has been picking up on after watching these guys. And here is a chance, possibly. He's going to make the shot. Throws it in. Ricky shoots and scores! The off-speed shot gets him. He gets an assist from Okaj. I hope I'm pronouncing your name right again, man. I'm doing my best with my Texas accent, but by any name, that is a goal. And here's another chance, and Okaj with his goal himself. So beautiful play right off the draw, and Ukraine up by two, just like that. Within a matter of seconds, they have put two on the board. That is big in this game one. They're looking to set the tone here. And now with another chance, right in front, beautiful pass from Mirror Boy to Ricky. He gets one. Goal! Makes it his second goal, the third for his team. Three to nothing now for Ukraine. And wow, they are pouring it on. Just all of a sudden, they are firing on all cylinders here. And so now CIS is going to have to battle back and already Ukraine pushing into the zone again. They are really moving the puck well here. And so they will, uh, Lily Pato is just going to try to dig this out of there. Mirror Boy is there giving him some pressure and he manages to deke around and get this away from him. Here comes Ricky. He jumps and <laughs> it does get away from him though as this will be chased down for Ukraine. They will begin again, and here they go. The shot from distance, and just wide to the left. Rebound attempt in front, not able to get to it and make a shot there is Ricky. So now CIS is going to take it the other way. A shot from distance, save made by Dennis as he's going to redirect this around the goal and send it all the way back down already. It, just as soon as they make the save, they're setting up on offense to move. So this Ukrainian team looking very good on offense in this opening game. Very nice. So two minutes left in the first. And yes, a 3 to nothing lead as Aziz is going to take this puck and start things from the back for CIS, the Commonwealth of Independent States. As they will take it at the point, go ahead and dump one in here. And the puck going behind the net will be chased down. There's Lily Pato. He's going to go for the wrap here. Not quite able to get everything on it. He did send one across the crease, though. And so now holding on to it will be Okaj. And he's going to try to get away from the defensive harassment here as he makes the pass. Two line pass across. Got room here, broken up by the CIS defense as they saw that coming in and were able to back check and get that one away. And so now they will begin their own offensive effort here. No, stopped. It's going to go back to Aziz 
And we'll see what he does with it here. He's going to use the boards. Oh, stolen. Possible chance. Shot. And it looks like he got a piece of it on defense. They're able to stop that one from going any further. And now Fertile is going to try to pick up the pieces and move this thing around. 45 seconds left in the first period. And already just a torrent of scoring from this Ukraine team. They look good. The passing looks good. There's one that's just beyond the blade of Okaj, and he's going to go ahead and send this out to Mirror Boy, and Ricky's going to take it now, and they will look to set up in front here, setting up in the slot. Lily Pato trying to get it out. 20 seconds left. CIS on the move with it. Gets around one, but not the other. This is going to dribble all the way back to Aziz, and he's just going to fling one all the way in the other direction. And, oh, that almost had a chance. Oh, the weird bounce. That could have been very dangerous. Almost capitalized on that. But to no avail, it's going to go to the second period with a scoreline 3 to nothing in favor of Ukraine. Pretty good game so far. And hello to Freaky from IBN. He's here in the chat. Good to see you, man. And hello to our viewers from around the world. As you have joined us for quite an entertaining game so far. As this is the best of three. Ukraine looking pretty good in this first game. And the winner of this will go on to the finals of the Hockey World Cup. So a lot is on the line here. And now who will take this? It looks like CIS is going to dump it back. They've got a chance. Beautiful stop. How, how did he get that big save there by Dennis in the net right at his feet? Almost stuffed in on the rebound, but he was able to squash that and control it. So a good play. And now Alexander will take it. Shoots it down. Saved by Dennis. Actually, he didn't really have to make a save. He's just kind of waving that into the corner here. And CIS starting off the second period with some offensive pressure here. Some much needed offensive pressure. They've got to get some goals in. And they will try to get one here. This one's launched from distance. It's going to go well over the net. And handled in the corner by Lily Pato. He's going to set up for Fertile at the point. Blocked. Okaj is going to get away with this. And he may have some room to work it. Beautiful pass right on the tape. The shot. Score! Ricky with the hat trick. And Ukraine, wow, it is hard to beat a team that makes those kind of passes and has that kind of open ice to work with it. And so far, they are doing a pretty good job. They're, they're putting a number on this CIS team. And this is a good team. This CIS team is very, very good. So Ukraine is uh, setting a pretty heavy tone here in this first game with a 4 nothing lead. So CIS kind of on their heels. They're going to try to get something going there. There's a very nice pass. And before he can settle that down, it is knocked away. So that's going to give Ricky another chance. Oh, you don't want to give him room out there. And he is blocked. And a nice defensive play is going to keep that one from going in. The wraparound attempt. Oh, it's sent wide and far back all the way to the other side of the rink. This will be picked up by Ricky on the fly here. He's going to spin, shoot, save made by Zeese, who has uh, been pretty good in the nets, even though he's uh, down by four. He's had to make some tough saves, and so far he has. But, yeah, he's going to have to make some more to keep his team in it here. As the best of three helps a little bit, they may be looking to, uh, I don't know if they're ready to write this game off and regroup. You can score goals in hockey question mark pretty quickly if you're a team of the offensive firepower of either one of these teams. So it's not completely out of the question for them to come back in this game. And they're trying their chance in front. Oh, swept away as soon as he was about to fire right in front. He had a place in the slot ready for that one but it is uh, taken away so very alert on defense as well as offense this team from ukraine and just like uh, we learned in seinfeld ukraine not weak so cis starting again from their own zone and the pass will be made blocked here as ricky's going to be looking for it out on the point and he's going to watch this go by him, though, as CIS is going to take it. 
And now Ukraine will settle into a more defensive position as they're looking for beers to pass. Fertile's got some room. Shoots off the side of the post. So close. So close. As he let fly with it. And that's what they're going to have to do. Just get as many shots on the net as you can. In playoff hockey, that is the key. I mean, it, it, some go in, some don't. They don't have to be pretty. They just have to be on net and close in. And then sometimes uh, it, it is a matter of quantity over quality in, in the playoffs. Because anything goes in, in hockey playoffs of any kind. So CIS, nice pass there over a couple of Ukrainian players, but it is going to be taken by Ricky. He is all over the place. And again, they're setting up in front, and he gets not all of it on that. He, he really would have liked to have had a better shot there. But Aziz, up to the task, he's going to make the save. 30 seconds left here in the second period, and Ukraine with a 4 nothing lead. But here's a shot, and this one's going to go wide. And now they'll get a rebound at the point, shooting again, and another one just wide from the other direction. So the you, uh, CIS finally starting to get some offense going, get some shots going, but to no avail. And now here's Ukraine going the other way. He shoots. Oh, Kaj with a nice goal. The off-speed shot again. Aziz got a chunk of that one. He made the initial save, but it just uh, had too much on it, too much speed on it, and it bounces over his stick and into the net. So a late goal by Ukraine makes it five to nothing going into the third. I must admit, this is a lot different than what I expected the score line to be at this point. Usually these uh you would expect these guys to be a little bit closer on the score line. But Still five minutes to catch up five goals here for CIS. We'll see if they can do it. And if not, we'll see if they can regroup. Remember, it is a best of three, so they've got a little bit of time here. And they've got space. And Lily Pato shoots and scores! Very nicely done there. And the first goal for CIS and a much-needed goal from Lily Pato. And that's going to make it 5-1. to one. Now they're only down by four. Can they make up the difference? They've got 4.27 to do it. If they do it at this rate, as far as uh, time on the boards, they definitely have a chance. And they're going at it again. Here's another chance. And Royce with a weird angle, but a beautiful shot. He shoots and scores with an assist from Alexander. And now all of a sudden, CIS, they're going to try to make a game out of this. Five to two, only down by three. They've scored a couple here in less than a minute. And they will need to keep this kind of pressure on if they want to come back in this game. They Can they force an overtime? I don't know. Put Place your bets now if you're wagering at home. So Ukraine... They are uh, kind of facing a little bit of offense here, and so we'll see if they uh, start running the offense that they've been running as they settled into a more defensive stance with a five-goal cushion that is a, uh, a proper way to play, I would say. So now Ukraine's shooting from way back there. Oh, 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 what a save by Aziz. He had Ricky in close. What a nice pass right on the blade. And Aziz, again, at point-blank range, making the stop. That was huge. But here's another chance, waving at it, not able to get it, fanning. And so now CIS will start to go on the move again. He's got a little bit of room to work. Roy's going to take it down, and we'll see what he can do with this. He's got a man open. He's going to go ahead and take the shot off the side of the post now. As he puts it back into the slot, it will be sent away by Dennis who's going to go ahead and clear this all the way down. Beautiful pass. There's the shot, and there's a score! Ricky, oh my goodness. It's, a <laughs> it's the story of Ricky. You're all free now. If you ever watched that movie, that's, that is a great movie. And uh, Ricky, <laughs> making moves of his own here. Six to two, four goals by Ricky. That has been the difference in this game so far so that could be a very important goal for ukraine after a couple of uh goals on the comeback trail by cis and we'll see what happens now that is a part of the fun of it that's why we watch the games 
<laughs> so Aziz clearing it out, and they've got room and a couple here on the two-on-one break. Oh, and he just shoves this one over the crossbar, so not able to connect all the way there. Two minutes left. They've got a score four in two. Can they do it? And cleared out. This will go back the other way. And Ukraine may start to put a little bit more uh, people in the zone. As that is a good way to eat time up off the clock. And that's kind of what they're hoping to achieve right now with a four-goal lead. And but they might not be done scoring yet. Here is Ricky. Big save. The, the, it looks like that was uh, Lily Pato actually, that came out very aggressively and got the stop there. And so the, he kind of, they're circulating around. It's in between Lily Pato and Aziz back there in the net. But Lily Pato up to the challenge again. And here is one lifted, dumped down. <laughs> oh, 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 man. These passes from way back, this is just ridiculous, man. These guys are good, but not able to connect. And so very close, though, as CIS starting to uh, watch for that guy right there in the slot, as, as well they should. And we will go to under a minute left to play, and it's looking very much like a Ukrainian victory in this first game. And Okaj puts the exclamation point on it with a hat trick of his own. He makes it 7-2 to two with his third goal. Very nice. Whoa. So, CIS, they do have a pretty deep bench. We'll see if they make substitutions. We'll see if they make uh, changes in their play in this game, too, to try to counteract what Ukraine is doing. Mostly it's just good passing and uh, good positioning that's making a difference here. And just stuff like that. Almost another one, as this one is going to go a little bit wide, as Aziz got out there and got just a little piece of it just enough to redirect it away to the uh to the right of the net 10 seconds left 7 to 2 looks to be the final score of the first game possibly here's CIS with another chance though before time runs out and Dennis is going to take this and just carry it out of the way and the GG's come out we will go to game 2 and Ukraine they are one game away from being in the Hockey World Cup Finals with a tremendous performance, especially from Okaj and Ricky. They have just been uh, stellar so far. So will Game 2 have a different uh, storyline than Game 1? We're about to find out. As some discussion among the teams, I don't speak the moon language that they're speaking currently. I wish I did. I think even if I did speak Russian or anything, I wouldn't be able to understand exactly what they're saying here because it's it's sort of the in between. It's the Russian with English lettering. So <laughs> this is where I wish I had a DJ Shifty from our DJ crew uh, from the Funky Fella crew. He speaks very good Russian for a guy from Texas. But unfortunately, uh, here in Texas, we barely have uh, enough mental facility to speak English. So, reminds me of the old joke. You know, what do you call uh, somebody who speaks a whole bunch of languages, uh, multilingual what do you call somebody who speaks two languages? Bilingual. What do you call somebody who speaks one language? American. And now we'll look at the lineup. CIS, uh, will they be in red this time? They might. They might change sides here. I see a lot of this in international play. I think it's uh, just intentionally meant to confuse the casters. I, I don't know if one side or the other of the hockey question mark rinks uh, gains any specific advantages it's a <laughs> as we would say it's a it's a fairly symmetrical map so <laughs> but just for the sake of uh, making things even out a little bit I think they do that so now we'll see who the lineups will be as it looks like some guys are leaving and joining we're on the pro server, 